What's up, man? What's up? How you feeling? Feeling, tell, feeling tell amazing. It, feeling amazing. First off, I just want to say thank you to just, you know, the Chargers for believing me, the Spanos family, from, from Dean to AG to Mikey, Tom Telesco, IGM. Y'all heard Coach Staley up here yesterday. Thank you to him. Thank you to my agent, best agent in the world. And thank you to my family and, you know, the people that, my loved ones that really helped me get to this day. Just wanted to say that. Was there ever a doubt that you were going to get this worked out and it was gonna, you're going to be as happy as you, were, as you are right now? Uh, there was never no doubt in my mind. You know, I just try to do what I can as the player, come out here every day and just get better in the ways that I could. So when the secondary has been very successful in the past, how do you compare this training camp or whatever you see compared to last year? Uh, I say just the energy is just different. You can feel it out here. Um, it just feels it feels amazing out here. How long will it take hard? you to ramp up to start fully participating? Uh, I'll be ready by next week for sure. I'll be ready. Trevor, when you hear your teammates say that you're the heartbeat of this team and of the defense, what does that mean to you? That holds a lot of weight and that holds a lot of responsibility. So, you know, with, with my teammates making comments like that, you know, I, I don't take that lightly. So, you know, I just try to be the best role model and to keep being a good display to them of, you know, hard work and just being here every day. Was it hard for you to actually be here but not participate? Heck yeah, it was super hard. Everybody know how, I love, how much I love football, how much I want to be out here. And, um, you know, it was just hard. How'd you, how'd you work through that? I know you, some days you came out here with a football in hand, had your cleats on, football gloves Love, on. Yeah. It up. It's just taking it day by day, man. Like I said, controlling what I can control. You know, um, I knew it was it would happen, but, you know, just having having the confidence to come out here every day, you know, to still try to get myself better in, in ways I could. And you have a moment to reflect on sort of everything you've been through in your career, obviously missing the time over those years, coming coming back and having the season you had last year, and now signing this, this second contract. Where, where's your mind going to go when you when you do reflect on, on the journey? Uh, just thankful, man. Just thankful to God, really, man. And um, thank you for, to, like I say, Tom, Ed, everybody that believed in me in this organization from day one, all the adversity I went through. Just, you know, thank you to them, you know, because they believed in me and, um, you know, it wouldn't happen without them. When you... Why, why did you choose the holding route? Um, obviously, you want to be here. You want to be part of the team. But the holding route, why, why did you choose that particular route to kind of negotiate the contract? No, uh, it was out of my control. You know, I, I talked with my agent. You know, he gave me the best advice, and um, that's what we came up with. And, um, you know, my job was to still be here for my teammates, still come out here and get better every every day, which I can. You're the final piece that they were kind of waiting on and what's been a bit of a makeover on the defense. Um, when you look at who you guys have in your roster this season, what kind of expectations do you have for it? Uh, we just try to – we don't try to put too much on ourselves, but we know what's at stake. We know that we have a Super Bowl caliber roster, and we know – what, what we have in our in our tent. So we just try to come out, whether it's defense or offense, and just compete every day and get each other better. What's it going to take for you guys to get to the Super Bowl? Keeping everybody healthy and us coming out and just taking winning the games we're supposed to win. Dirt. Man, I, I feel that man on the sideline, just from being on the sideline. I tell him all the time, I feel you out there fire too. Just You feel him when he come off the ball. Same thing for Joey. Like It's just it's different, man. You, if I'm a tackle, I don't want to be blocking those guys, man, for sure. When the, when the news got out that you got this thing done, was there anything that one of your teammates said to you that, that has stood out today? Man, it was just so much love that I got from just not my teammates, from my coaches, from the cafeteria people, from everybody in the organization. It was just like all love. And, you know, that's as a player, that's all you can ask for. And, you know, I'm, I'm humble and I'm, I'm just thankful for it, you know, just having that type of love around this organization that, that I have. So what was Jaylen that? For dinner? Uh, well, I'm taking Jalen. I'm taking a probably McDonald's. I'm dollar menu, dollar menu that boy. He ain't getting nothing. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. We're going to eat good. I'm going to take my brother somewhere nice. <laughs> what, what does it mean to you be, to be the highest paid? Uh, it means a lot, and that carries a lot. You know, Like I said, shout out to my agent, the best the best agent out there, number one agent in the world. Um, and um, like I say, man, um, all this wouldn't be done, like I said, without the Chargers believing in me and um, my agent believing in me and me coming out putting in the hard work with my teammates. You know, just thank you to everybody. What's the deal with the official? Oh, that's to my mom, you know, just telling her, you know, thank you for everything. And, um, you know, she was proud of me and um, just having that conversation with her. You mentioned what, what Brandon said. How much did she help It was everything. I mean, from her working two jobs coming up to her, everything, you know what I mean? Just sacrificing, you know, seeing her work ethic every day, how she go to work. And not complain, you know, it kind of made me want to do the same thing, you know.
what Brandon said about you yesterday, just that you're more than a safety going through all the different things you do, what you bring from a leadership perspective. What did that mean to you to, to hear that from, not that he doesn't tell you that all the time, but for him to say it publicly like that? Like I said, Ruddish, them saying I'm the heartbeat, right? them saying I can play multiple positions, all that carry a lot of, all that, that's a privilege to me, you know, to be able for people to think of you like that and to think, like, you know what I mean? So I feel like that carry a lot of weight and you just got to keep, Keep getting better and not not be like satisfied with it. Don't don't get arrogant. Don't get just keep working and staying humble, man. Derwin, what was that call with uh, with Jalen like today? Oh, I actually didn't even get to call him. I've been texting him in a group chat back and forth, so I haven't got to call him yet. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna be excited when I call him. Is it, did they text you congratulations? Yeah, he texted me congrats in our group chat. Um, congrats to me, him, Casey Hayward, a lot of guys reached out to me that I played with in the past. How important has it changed at all? If at all? Uh, it changed me a lot, you know, everything I, you know, I try, I thought I wanted to do as a person, you know, when you have a son, it's, it's so much different, you know, and things you really don't care about, you know, um, and it's just so much, so humbling having a son, you know, he actually just like me, look like me, so it's, it's, it's cool.